Good evening and welcome to our live crafting this evening. My name is Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley which is in Northamptonshire in the UK. Let me put the other light on. I hope you're well. It's Friday evening and I'm not usually live on a Friday evening but yesterday evening my live clashed with um, an important online meeting so I had to postpone my live until this evening. So welcome, I hope you've had a good day and a good week. It is Friday the 21st of October and as always <laughs> it's come around really really quickly but um, that seems to be the case all the time. Right, let me see that we are indeed live where we should be. It's not coming up on my phone, but that doesn't mean anything. Oh, there we go. We are live. That's always good. Always good. Hi, Babsy. So, we've been using the Brood for You stamp set all week to try and keep it out of the lights of the shining and I haven't actually used the bottle yet I have to say but I have used the three glasses you've got the beer tankard you've got the straight beer glass and then you've got the pilsner beer glass but this could also be a wine glass as you've seen us use during the week so there is a stamp that says another round for your birthday hi carol and I decided that definitely called for stamping in the round. And so what I'm going to do is use um, these two going round in a circle formation. And then I'm going to pop this another round for your birthday in the centre. So that is my plan. So I'm using our Stamparatus. And I have pre-cut some layers ready. So I've got a base card which measure, measures sorry, five and a half inches by five and a half. This crushed curry layer is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then this piece here is um, about five inches, maybe a little bit less. Maybe it's four and three quarters. Um, so those are my three layers. I'm going to be working on this one. And I'm going to use two plates because what I'm going to do is stamp the um, outline and the infill and then rotate this round. So I have got my template. This template is free to download. Um, it's not complicated. All it is is a series of squares. I've stacked up some different sizes. This is um, just underneath the larger size so it'll do nicely for um, just centralising in there. And I'm going to stamp it and then rotate it as I go around. So let's get started. So I'm using early espresso for the glass and probably so saffron for the beer or lager. So let's grab those stamps ready. Hi Kate, thanks for joining us. So, I really enjoyed using this stamp set. It's been really good fun and we had a great great fun with it at Coffee and Card because there's the three different sets of um of glasses it meant that people could be working on different ones at the same time, which is always really useful for Coffee and Card because we had um we had eight ladies today. And so um, you have to be a little bit patient if you're all waiting for exactly the same stamp. So I'm going to start with this in the um, sort of horizontal rather than the diamond position so that I can get a good placement. And I will add a link to this template. It's on a Google Drive so you can just download it free of charge. And you could either stamp the infill or you could colour it in. But for speed, I'm going to stamp the infill and I'm hoping that I can get 
than going right the way around. I'm going to have it quite close to the top and give it a go. Okay, so I'm going to pick that up. And I should put the other should put the other magnet on just to hold it in place, but once it's inked up it would be it'll be easier. Okay, so I'm going to stamp I'll just put that there to hold it in place. I've got early espresso ink, so I'm gonna stamp the beer glass first, like so, and then I'm going to position the infill. I'm hoping that's going to come out deep enough. If not, I can stamp it again anyway. So I've got one there. Hoping not to knock it too much. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is take the infill stamp and position it on top. Hi Brenda. Good evening to you. Okay. So I'm going to pop this on there. And you can see it's quite well stained because I've used some dark colours and because it's photopolymer, it does stain the stamp. If anything, it makes it easier to see through and find, especially if you do like me and drop it on the floor. Um, but, it, uh, but it won't do any harm to the stamp itself. Okay. Just going to lift that one up from there. Okay, so having positioned that, hmm, hopefully it's still in place. I'm going to ink this one up and do the infill. I hope you've had a good week, Brenda. Okay, so you could obviously colour these all in, but for speed, I thought this would be a much better way to do it. And also to show you the two-step stamping on the Stamparatus. Okay, so we've got one glass, one infill. We leave those in place on the plates. Hi Lynn, happy Friday to you. Okay, now I'm going to turn it to here and I'm hoping it's still going to fit. So let's just position that first. I don't know why I cut it off the top here of my printed out template. Oh, it's going to cross a little bit, but I think it'll be okay. Let's give it a go. If not, I could move the glass out a little bit or choose a larger piece of card to stamp onto. So it will connect, but hopefully it will still make a nice pattern. So there's that one. And then the infill. And this is much better to do the two layers and then move your paper around, then turn it round and then do it again, if that makes any sense. Okay. Doesn't matter which way you turn it and it doesn't matter if you miss one because you can always come back and do it again. And I could do this one also with the wine glass. I think that would work because it's just slightly smaller. So I might try that. Oh, excellent. 25 cards from the class in box. Brilliant, Brenda. And I've got all of the products ready for our October class in the box. So we have our in-person class on Tuesday, which I'm looking forward to. And our online class on Sunday next week that is the 30th we have our let's get creative event on the saturday and i'm also designing november's class somewhere in there maybe after the weekend so really looking forward to a nice crafting week okay so just turning this around to the next one And then just 
inking up. Now I don't need to clean these stamps in between because I'm keeping the ink the same and it doesn't matter that I've got it on um, the outside edge because I'm not pressing down there so it's not going to be transferred. I guess you could have different colours of beers if you wanted to or lagers or whatever you want it to be. Okay. Next one. Now there's no way I would be able to do this and have it equal all the way around if I was doing it by hand. It would end up, I know it would end up lopsided <laughs> with the best one in the world. Okay. So here, so I'm using So Saffron for my light lager and then Ernespresso for my glass. And the sentiment is quite long, but what I'm planning to do is cut the sentiment up and put it in the middle. So we'll see how that goes and I'm just using the magnets to hold that in place so it doesn't move in between and I'm desperately trying to think Brenda which one the August class was was it the floral one because I can't remember I think it was Okay, let's do just a little bit more on there. There we are. And then I've just got two more to go. So I'll pop this one down there. Like that. Just make sure I don't put the <laughs> wrong ink on the wrong stamp. Not so much this one, but the uh, I didn't want to put an espresso on the infill stamp. Oh, it was a floral one. Excellent, good. Okay, and then the final one is going to slot into there. is all done so they have overlapped a little bit so if I was doing this again I'd probably add a quarter of an inch maybe half an inch more onto the cards so that they were they were just touching rather than overlapping but um, let's just take this out of the way for the minute Now, what I'm thinking is, I've just got a small piece of paper here, and I'm going to stamp the sentiment and then cut it up. Let's find a block. So this says, another round for your birthday. So... I'm going to stamp a couple like so. Just tuck these away for a minute because I don't really want a long piece on there. So let's 
grab some scissors and I'm going to cut straight through there. So I've got, I know that's very small, another round, and then I've got for your birthday. So, oops, I've got for your, and then the word birthday so what I'm thinking is to put a circle there and then add another round for your birthday and I might split these up so let's just trim this a little bit off for your birthday not particularly straight and I know that's very small I'm sorry you probably can't see that <laughs> no you definitely can't see it can you okay I'm just going to use this another round here I'm just going to cut this one closer to that Just so I've got a little bit more space in between. And so what I'm thinking is to cut a coloured circle for the middle that will hide those overlaps and then I can put this on top so let's just measure this circle here so if I made this four centimeters circle I know it would cover all of those overlapping pieces so I'm thinking probably espresso or I could use the layer that I've got here. I'm just not sure it's enough of a contrast, is it? So let's grab the stylish shapes. And I want one that is, so that's five centimetres. That's very rude, Lynn. Thank you. Hi, Tracy. This is just over four. That is perfect. So what do we think? Do we think early espresso as a better contrast? Because I think this is a bit too close. I could swap this obviously for early espresso. So let's just grab an off cut. There we go. Just going to cut a small piece into there. And this is from the Stylish Shapes. It's got a little bit of stitching on, but it's not too feminine or fancy. Just going to die cut it over here, save so moving everything over.
as my mini machines are packed for copying card. see what we think. Put my die back before I lose it. So Tracy, I hope you're feeling better. Okay, so let's see. Yeah. That works, especially now I've I need to um cover it up slightly. So another round. So a bit of a play on words. <laughs> for your birthday. Okay, sweet. So, let's um, layer this up. So I've got white cards underneath. I think it works well with the early espresso. I could put early espresso behind, but I didn't want it too um, dark. So let's just layer these up. Oh, my glue's in my bag. Okay, so this is just crushed curry. And obviously if you're doing this at home and you wanted to save some card, then you could um, have punched out a number of circles out of that just don't go too close to the edge like so and I've given it a centimeter gap between the outside layer and this layer so half a centimeter all round and then this one is going to go onto there Natasha, long time no see. Okay, so this is our layer here. Like so. And then this is going to be my little panel for the middle. So I'm going to put these on first in case I make a mess of it. And then this is going to go on here with some dimensionals. So um, let's just make these a little bit more equal. So I could do them at an angle. Or I could do them straight. Oops, let's do them straight. Now I could use fine tip glue if I could see it. I don't know what I've done with it. So I'm just going to use a little bit of wet glue. There's my round. Like so. Let's just tidy this up so it's a little bit more even and I'm really sorry it's so tiny you can't see it really but you'll see the finished bit I promise. There we go. And when you're dealing with small areas A you don't want to add too much glue and B if you let the glue sit for 30 seconds or so it goes slightly tacky Oh, good. Brilliant, Tasha. So pleased about that. Um, right. And I'm looking for my tape for pick tool, which I can't find. Well, that one might do. <laughs> okay. Tweezers? Anyone? Right, another. That's what I'm after. I think I'm going straight. So another. Pretty sure this is. Oh no. This one is. 
round. Foil. Oh, perhaps I should have put that one in first. It's the biggest piece, isn't it? I think that'll be all right. It's not perfect, but it will do the job. Right, I'm just going to turn this over and press it down. Okay, and add some dimensionals to the back. And we're done. I keep forgetting my chair makes a noise when I sit up. Right, there we go. So, we've had a lot of rain here today. And I believe it's supposed to be dry tomorrow. Fingers crossed. There we go. Another round for your birthday. I'm going to go on to there. There we are. Let me bring that up to the screen. Hopefully you can see that a little bit better. Okay. And let's pop a happy birthday or a celebrate sentiment in the middle or congratulations, something like that. Oh, let's have a look. Wishing you everything wonderful or wishing you the happiest of birthdays like that one. Thank you. So I think I'm going to do one with the wine glasses. Keep the same size, but move the wine glasses because the wine glasses are slightly are smaller. So if I put them there, They shouldn't overlap, or if they do, it would be the smallest amount. So let's put wishing you the happiest of birthdays inside. Pop that onto a block. And we're done. So we've had great fun with this set all week. We'll be using it at Coffee and Card on Monday. That's at Toaster. So if you're in that area, Monday afternoon, half two to half three, most welcome to join us. Just making sure that's got enough ink on it. This is a bit light. Thank you everybody for your kind comments. Right, just make sure I haven't turned the card around or done anything crazy like that. Wishing you the happiest of birthdays. There we are, on the inside. And I can add some Winker Stella to those if I want to. I could also add some, oh, I could add some. got these ones here so I've got lots of different 
sort of metallic I've got the brushed metallic ones here with gold copper and a sort of neutral one I've got these ones here those are quite nice and these are the same ones I quite like the gold ones see how many I've got I've got four gold ones left but one in each corner just to finish that off so one two three and four there we go oops not quite in the right place now this would be quite good for my brother he likes a beer or two his birthday in early December so I'm going to put that up on my board so when I make a card that has significance for somebody I know that would um, enjoy it then I put it up on my board in a little bag and that reminds me that I've got it there ready to send okay so there we go so I hope you like the design I will go ahead oh it is Natasha it's um oh did you mean this one or the Stamparatus I wonder I can't remember at the last point this is a new uh, multi-purpose tool that has a point on one end it has a brush for getting out bits of the dies and there's also two other um, ends that you can fit in they just swap out of this one so there's like a little palette knife here, uh, which is useful for getting up um, embellishments. And there is also, uh, let me just grab it because it's easier to show you. <laughs> it's a putty tool. So it has putty on the end and you can turn this to release the putty and that just slots in. the other end instead of this one there we go and then this has a little putty tool so you can release the putty and then pick up sequins and put them down so it's very useful for that purpose I'm not quite sure what I've done here the plot there it is so then you can just pick that up and then you can get little refills of these if you wish um, and then you have the brush which is an optional extra and then these other little ends so I tend to keep the pointy end sharp and the brush end for the dies got no coordination today there we go yeah it's called take your pick because you can pick whichever end you want oh that's quite all right oh, I think that's a great idea Natasha um, if you PM me your address I'll send you the current catalogues because I don't I don't think I have your new address. If I do, I apologise. But yeah, just PM it to me and I'll send you the new catalogues. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Uh, let's see, spot on time, just after half past eight. That's a bit of a miracle. Um, but I hope you enjoy it. I'm just going to do one with the wine glass, um, just to finish that off, to show that I've done it. But I had great fun with this set. Um, one card you didn't see, let me see if I can just find it. Is in here. Um, so these are the ones from earlier on in the week, but this one here, I stamped 
onto our craft note cards. So we have some craft note cards and envelopes, same size as the white ones. They do come with a box as well. And I was doing this as a background and I was just stamping it without really thinking of the placement, but by some sort of miracle, it worked out to fit exactly on there. And thanks, Lynn. And I like it so much, I didn't want to cover it up with a circle or anything. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe um, stamp and die cut one and put it on here and then have a sentiment. So I will do that and I stamped the envelope as well and on the inside. But I just thought that was absolutely pure luck <laughs> that they fitted when I was just literally... Um, stamping for a background but then I didn't want to cover it up so I think what I'm going to do is stamp die cut one of the beer glasses and then pop a small sentiment here so that you don't cover all of those and um, there's these are the wine glasses I made earlier in the week so if you haven't seen any of these other ones do hop onto YouTube and you can see them day before yesterday I did some mirror stamping and mirror die cutting to cut out the beer tankards going in different directions so uh, great stamp set really easy to use the stamp set itself is um, 17 pounds and you can buy it with or without the dies um, and it's called brood for you there will be a well, there is a link on all of the photographs on my Facebook page. So if you want to take a look and see more details online, just go to any of the photos and click on the click on the little shopping link and it will take you to my website and you can see those in more detail. So thank you so much everybody. Do have a great weekend. I'm going to be busy prepping class and die cutting for most of the weekend um, but that's always very satisfying especially when you get to the last pack of cards or the last pack of paper so thank you everybody any queries or questions mm -hmm. in what you've seen don't hesitate to message me um, Natasha whiz me across your address and I'll get that sorted for you and if anybody else um, doesn't have a demonstrator and you're based in the UK, Northern Ireland or Ireland and you would like a catalogue, just send me a message or private message me or email me, jenny at geminicrafts.co.uk and I look forward to helping you. Thank you so much everyone, do take care, um, thanks for putting up with me, have a great weekend, bye for now.